your father tried as well then, I know that. And what he got you out and got you going, did he? Initially he wasn't trialling, but I got this pup off my grandfather and he was just a farm dog, but I had a mad interest in it and that's all I could think about was taking this dog to the field to train and it just escalated from there. Yeah, geez, you weren't even walking that long when you were getting out. <laughs> but then after that, we'll have a, a way with dogs in, in Bodfari. And that's going to be fairly interesting there. I know you've competed against most of those handlers on different occasions, but to get them all in the, in the one competition, what will that be like? Oh, it's going to be a tremendous event. It's very rarely do you see a, an event with so many of the top handlers in the country involved, or in the world. Yes. So it's, it's just going to be a cracking event. Yeah, you, you help a lot of beginners and, and you've given a lot of clinics over the years and all. Is there anything that you'd say to people that you think, you know... The first thing I'd say, don't start. <laughs> they keep well away from yeah, this. It's like an addiction dog. you oh, don't it's, need. It's no good to you at all. But of course, um, it's, it's, it's a cracking sport and it's taken me all over the world judging and um, teaching and doing clinics and trialing and all. It's been a massive part of my life, you know, so if, if I can help anybody or give them any guidance, you know, I will.